Hello viewers, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to our video series. From today, uh, I'm going to start uh, our project. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to uh, create uh, a user. So I have already access in my sys. And from here, I want to uh, create a user. So we uh, know that how to create a user in Oracle database. Okay, let's start. Create user. Username maybe appoint ms identity unlock. Okay, user has been created, and then I want to go and okay, fine. Uh, our user uh, created now. Uh, I want to overview my schema. I have already uh, write uh, my scripts. Uh, I'm going to show that this file see uh, you see here you see our table structure i have already uh, right here and uh, actually uh, for uh, complete our project uh, I have uh, uh, right necessary table here. First table is uh, for manage user. We need uh, a user table. Uh, this is user table, and it is the most important uh, thing for uh, security password security. Uh, we use a uh, password uh, MD5. Okay, I have uh, created a function that uh, will return uh, 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 encrypted in encrypted uh, password, and uh, I have uh, uh, created uh, for checking uh, user uh, validation. Uh, we will use this function and. It is trigger for all um, uh, users and some other table like uh, uh, provided information, uh, client information, and uh, appointment info, and uh, service master, service info. That's it. Okay, for um, every table, uh, I'll uh, create a trigger that will uh, um, insert uh, automatically additional information like uh, our primary key and uh, created uh, by and update by and time and so on. Okay, uh, we have already created, we have already created our um, user and grant user our um, uh, DB information. So I just um, um, want to copy this from here. I paste all uh, code here and then I'll press uh, execute as a script button. Okay, our script uh, has been run successfully. Uh, our next step is uh, create a workspace for our application. Okay. Now I'm going to create a workspace for our application. Create workspace and name it. Appoint MS uh, 
Do you use existing uh, schema? Yes. I have a schema. Appoint MS. Next. Admin username, password, and the password. and Masood ok fine our work space will create done and manage developer and users Masood I want to uh, Required change password to first. Uh, required change uh, uh, change of password on first use. Uh, I want to uh, uh, select no. Okay. Um, if we keep uh, default uh, yes, uh, uh, we must uh, um, uh, change first uh, We must change password for the first time. Okay, I have select no. I do not want to change uh, my password for the first uh, login. So apply changes. Okay, I'm going to sign out now. I want to log in my appoint MS work express. Okay, we have successfully uh, access our uh, access to our workspace. Now, I'm going to uh, create uh, our application. For creating application, press create button, and uh, I'm going to select new application. And here, I want to name our application appointment management system is our application name and I want to check all and uh, home page will automatically add okay that's it create application Okay, you see our application uh, has been successfully created. Now I'm going to run application. Now I am going to access with uh, my work space username and password. Okay, we see our home page uh, totally clean. And if we click on uh, this main navigation, and we see administrator uh, administration um, menu if you click on this we see dashboard and we can create user and default role but we cannot uh, uh, set our password okay actually uh, we do not uh, use this uh, directly uh, we will customize this okay and uh, here you will see uh, three roles administrator contributor and reader and uh, we can edit uh, existing user from here click on edit button okay uh, from here we only uh, can um, um, insert two information um, only username and uh, role but it it's not enough for us we must uh, uh, store uh, many more information okay and uh, we'll manage our own table 
I will show you uh, all things step by step in my future uh, video tutorial. Okay, I'm going to close it. And uh, uh, here, left side, uh, activity report, dashboard, and uh, dashboard, see. Uh, hourly page events and uh, top user, etc. And uh, uh, top user and uh, page views, okay. And we can uh, change our user interface and uh, theme style. If you click on this, I want to select Redwood Light and uh, apply changes. Okay, you see our theme has been changed and maybe I want to uh, some more customization. Uh, click customize theme roller and edit. Okay, floating. I want to set floating and other things will be default. Okay, and save as, save as, uh, okay, Masut, okay, save, okay, fine, I have uh, uh, changed our theme style, and a uh, home is totally uh, empty, and uh, if I uh, sign out, Let's see everything has been changed okay dear friends i want to stop here and in my next video tutorial uh, i will start authentication and authorization i hope uh, you will uh, watch that video and uh, uh, stay with me thank you very much